Ito Belfort on the right. Kazushi Sakuraba pictured right there. Sakuraba really had a tough go in his last fight against one of Carlson Gracie's fighters in Alan Goes. And in some ways, Vitor Belfort, also a Carlson Gracie fighter, will present him with a totally different set of problems because Vitor has got lightning fists, boss. He's got pretty much the fastest hands here in, the, in NHB. If he's going to use him, it's going to be a phenomenal fight. Um, what can I say? Uh, Sakuraba only surprised us until now, and if he can pull this one off, man, it's going to be a good one to pull off. Well, Sakuraba uh, can never be accused of not uh, of shying away from a tough fight because he went from a tough fight in Alan Goes to what potentially on paper looks like an even tougher fight in Vitor Belfort. Yep, I know, man. So my, they're in the corner of Vitor Belfort. You see Al Stanky. He's the famous box coach, boxing coach. He actually was one time the boxing coach of De La Hoya. De La Hoya and Paul Gonzalez, two gold medalists in the Olympics in boxing. Yeah, with a white cap. And Vitor Belfort, uh, he's got some serious credentials coming into this. He won the UFC number 12 four-man tournament. He stopped Tank Abbott. And... He did have the one loss to Randy Couture, but he came back with a submission victory over uh, Joe Charles, and he stopped Vanderlei Silva in Brazil in under a minute. Yeah, I was there. That was unbelievable. With a flurry, he went, bang -a -bang -a -bang -a boom, and it was over. Now, Let's see what he can do. Now, definitely, Kazushi Sakuraba has never faced a striker of the caliber of Vitor Belfort. We're going to really see if he can uh, pull a rabbit out of his hat because Belfort can knock just about anybody within about 10 or 15 pounds of his weight out. And Sakuraba looks like he's a little bit outweighed in this fight. Yeah, also, and, and, and if you look at uh, Belfort, he lost a lot of weight because he used to be way bigger, like when he fought Couture or when he fought Joe Charge. No, he was bigger than he is now. It's like, it looks like he's about, down to about yeah. 205 again, yeah. 205. Yeah, I, because he got up to like 230 against Couture, and, and it was just all excess muscle. It didn't really help him. It, it actually hurt his speed. But in this fight, he looks really relaxed, and I expect him to spring like a cobra. Spring like a cobra? Sting like a bee. <laughs> no, you want to sting like a cobra, because oh, a cobra will I kill spring. you. Oh, spring in Holland means jump. <laughs> that, that's what I mean. That's what I thought. Spring like a cobra. Spring. <laughs> What's this? A spin by Sakuraba. Uh, Vitor showing Sakuraba a lot of respect here. Yeah, but he started out the same way with uh, Silva, Vendelay Silva, as somebody unloaded. Now, Sakuraba is shooting for that single, but Vitor, he uh, sprawled really well, and he's trying to take Sakuraba down. And he's got Sakuraba in uh, the... Sakuraba sure loves that move. Oh, yeah, but, but Vitor is, is pounding away. Sakuraba blocking all those left hands by Vitor Belfort. Vitor really trying to knock him out here. Good reflexes. And a good sprawl there by Vitor Belfort. And not a lot, not a lot of those are landing clean. They're landing on the top of the head. Sakuraba running away. He's trying to land, but Sakuraba covering up really well, keeping his hands high, going for that single leg takedown and getting it. And he got it. Whoa, he weathered the storm here. And that was a storm. I mean, Vitor unleashed at least 30 punches. And none of them seemed to land cleanly. A lot of them caught Sakuraba on the top of his head or, or grazed off his defense. Vitor on the bottom. Uh, Vitor chopping down, uh, probably thinking back of when Alan Goes, his teammate, oh, yeah. fought Sakuraba and used those kicks from the bottom very effectively. Yeah, that was something I've never seen before in my life. That was, yeah, that was unbelievable. And everything. He had the whole, the whole package, even kicked him to the head. Oh, wow, Sakuraba chopping down with the right hand. We've never really seen him punch yet, but I think after his fight with Alan Goes, he decided no more Mr. Nice Guy, he's gonna learn how to strike. Oh, 
That right ear is taped up, and it looks Whoa. like a good body shot. And Vitor, nice. Vitor trying the up kick there. Nice. There's that up kick again. That's a really dangerous kick. Henzo Gracie knocked Oleg Taktarov completely out with that kick when they out fought. Cold. One, bang, down. And that was the first time anyone really uh, believed that that kick would work. Because after he knocked out Oleg, everybody thought, wow, maybe you better not lean over my opponent like this. Such an easy kick to execute, too. And you want to kick with a heel. Yeah, the hard part. No suspension. Now that hurts. Cartwheel there by Sakuraba, Whoa. trying to land into something. So oh, you gotta love this guy. That he will just try some bizarre move and let the chips fall where they may and he'll land and take whatever he, he's got. Boom, boom, five minutes, five minutes past. Okay, we're five minutes into round one. Pride Fighting Championship fights are scheduled for two 10-minute rounds, at which time it will go to a judge's decision. Uh, this is quite a bit different of a strategy from Sakuraba's fight with Alan Goes because against Alan Goes, he didn't really seem to know what to do with those legs coming flying up at him. But now he's uh, really getting a grip, so to speak, and he's throwing those kicks. Man, he's throwing those kicks hard, too, to the leg. And he's so relaxed. We say it every time. But look at him. He, he goes with that kick. It's, it looks like it's a hit, but because he goes up with the kick, he goes with the flow, he doesn't feel it. Look at this. But the interesting thing to me is that in Sakuraba's earlier fights against Vernon Tiger White, Carlos Newton, and even Alan Goes to a larger extent, he chose to get down on the ground in the guard of the opponent and play the, the grappling game. In this particular fight, he's choosing to stand over his opponent and trade kicks and try and figure out a different strategy. Yeah, he wants to go to the side. He, uh, he tried a few times now with his guardrail trick. He's pushing the legs to the side. He really wants to go to the side. Now those kicks are digging into the, the back of the thigh. Look at those red marks forming. <laughs> wow. So he's holding that leg up and just cracking that kick. Now that's going to really affect the way Vitor Belfort fights once he stands back up. That's one thing for sure. And it's going to affect him also tonight when he has to go to the restroom. That was a good kick by Vitor from the bottom. Well, we've never seen Vitor Belfort fight like this. Never. Maybe he watched the Alan Goes fight and thought, okay, that's the way I'm going to beat Sakuraba. But to me, this isn't the way he should fight uh, Sakuraba. He should stand back up and he should try and box Sakuraba. That's it. Take down the fence. The whole the thing that he just showed us, keep doing it, and that's his only ticket to win the fight. That's what I think. But but it's weird because I don't think Sakuraba is letting him do that. Look at that leg. He's taking a pounding. Look at those welts starting to form. Wow. Whoa. Oh, that landed good. Sakuraba is standing over Vitor Belfort like some little demon and chopping those kicks away at those exposed thighs. Wow. Good low kicks. That left thigh of Vitor Belfort has got to be noticing some swelling. And now he's chopping away at the right thigh. And those kicks are sharp kicks, boss. Yeah, and he's, he's doing the smart thing. He's lifted the foot up, 
So the, the thigh comes free all the way, and then he kicks. I thought he doesn't clash shins or knees and hurt himself on the shin. Yeah. What is Vitor thinking here? I don't know. I, it looks like he's still resting. He doesn't want to get up. I, I don't know. He's waiting for the time, for 10 minutes, so that uh, they can uh, put the fight back on their feet. I, clueless. Totally clueless. Good low kick again. It's, these are good kicks. Kazushi Sakuraba is definitely piling up the points, and then he lands a right hand to the body. And that was the low midsection, too. Vitor just doesn't have the timing Alan Goes did. And I also think that Kazushi Sakuraba has really worked to defend against this kind of counterattack. Yeah, he, he didn't want to experience that the second time. It's obvious. He figured out the chink in the armor already. Sakuraba jumping on Vitor, pounding away. Vitor standing back up. Wow, Sakuraba was the one who initiated the attacks. He was the one who controlled that round. Early on, Vitor came after him with a flurry of punches and nary a single punch landed. Then Sakuraba completely turned the tables on him. Vitor was down on his back and he chopped away with the roundhouse kicks. And now look at that, uh, look at that left thigh. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna take his toll. For sure, for sure. Especially psychologically as well as physically. Sakuraba looks pretty happy with that first round. He must be relieved because after the close call he had with Alan Goes. He is laughing. Yeah, he's laughing, joking, very relaxed. It's good to stay relaxed, but he can't uh, take Vitor lightly because Vitor at any time can explode. The fight's not over yet. Oh, no. Ten more minutes. Whoa. Look at that. Man. <laughs> that's brutal. Yeah, that's brutal. Because, boss, you've been kicked in the leg, I've been kicked in the leg. We know what it feels like. But lifting that leg up the way he did, and look at that, and kicking the calf of Vitor Belfort's left leg. Oh, that's going to hurt, too. I like the way he just lifts up that leg, and it kicks holds it in the air, and then cracks that low kick just behind the thigh. Wow. He really figured out a strategy in dealing with this position. And then he comes down, gets really high up on top of Vitor, throws a lot of punches. Actually, none of those landed, but nonetheless, it really put Vitor on the defensive. Okay, here we go, round two, potentially the final round of the fight. Well, let's see what Vitor has. Now, uh, look at that, a fake right roundhouse kick, straight right. One of my favorite combinations. Yeah. And again, he goes for a takedown and that makes the punch. Beautiful. I, I gotta say, it looks like Sakuraba is inside Vitor's head. Oh, oh what a beautiful back kick, spinning back oh. kick. He went down on it. And a little bit of a time delay there. That was a textbook spinning back kick. Wow. Right down to the lower abdominal area. Oh, wow. It was Sakuraba's left leg that landed. It's Sakuraba says, it's okay. He doesn't have to stand up. Do you see it? He tells the... Well, because the referee was going to stand, referee, yeah. he was gonna stand it back up because it looks like Vitor is going to try and stall. That back kick. Who would have expected that? Oh, that was beautiful. I, I've never seen anybody in mixed martial arts throw that kick to any effect ever. And, and I've always wondered, when is somebody going to throw Look a back at this, kick? look at this, he's chopping. Yeah, he's just wailing away at that leg. He's angry. Yeah, no, this is beautiful.
slamming that low kick. Look at the look on his face. What should he do now? He's figuring out something. Again, oh, let's start jumping the other leg. He's going to go for the other leg now. His right leg must have gotten tired from kicking Vitor so much. Hitting. Oh. Okay, good call by the referee to restart oh Vitor on God. his feet. Look but at I him. He doesn't walk good anymore. It's the kicks to the leg. Oh, oh. the back kick. Oh. A beautiful shot. He keeps doing it. And Vitor has no clue because he's never really probably trained to block the back kick or to deal with the back kick. It's really a hard technique to block, but if you know it's coming, there are ways to deal with it. Like you could step to the side, throw a straight right. You can do a lot of different things. But as I said, Vitor probably had no idea that Kazushi Sakuraba, reputed to be a grappler, is going to come out and throw a spinning back kick. Isn't that crazy? Well, that's the thing, though to always keep ahead of your opposition. And he's doing it. Always keep them guessing, wondering what you're gonna do. Oh, he fakes him out. And he's getting in his head again. Whoa. It's the kicks that are making the difference in this fight, and it's all Sakuraba doing the kicking. Sakuraba should go for the body shots also. Whoa. But I don't think Sakuraba, you mean, are you talking about a punch to the body? Punch to the body. I don't think he wants to get in close enough to give Vitor punching range. It, Using the kicks, he can stay on the outside. Yeah, but punch to the body is a, a, a bigger, a, 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 a better range than when you punch to the head. Punch to the head is easier to counter than a punch to the body, I think. Uh, you have to get out fast, of course. Yeah, because if you throw, a, a, let's say, a left hook to the body, no, no, I go for straight punches. I mean. Oh, straight, I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Right straight to the plexus. No, so or oh, that what he did? The front kick. It's yeah. a very smart thing to do. Front kick to the body. Yeah, go, go for the body. Vitor has done nothing. No, he gave a flurry in the beginning, but that was about it. Oh my God. Sakuraba going to the body with a right front kick, boss. He is a smart, he's a smart fighter. He, he knows he's hurt there. He, he, he is so smart, man. I'm telling you, this guy is something special. He got him clean with three spinning back kicks. Vitor seems really, really perplexed here wow. by, by what to do, how to deal with Kazushi Sakuraba. His corner is saying get off first, but he's doing anything but that. There's nothing in there. It's, it's probably the legs. the legs, I'm telling you. Yeah. He just doesn't know what to do. How do I lose some fans in Japan? It's probably the first rule in the book, this. Well, not do. Vitor, this is his pride debut. And he's, he's, get, he's, he's absolutely getting mastered in this fight by Kazushi Sakuraba. It's definitely the kicks. I mean, look at that leg. That's almost like hematomas forming. And Vitor going for a single leg takedown, but Kazushi Sakuraba getting ready to trap that Kimura hold. Come on, Vitor. 
There is nothing. I, he has nothing left. There is, it's very strange. He's just standing there. Last three minutes now. Well, unless Vitor scores a knockout or a submission, he's going to lose this fight. Oh, yeah, and he's going to lose it big time. Okay, good call. Oh, I love this new rule. Because when the, when the guy's obviously just stalling and doing nothing, I mean, there's only so much time he can do that. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. This is un unreal. This is unreal. I, I... But Sakuraba continues to fight and tries to throw an axe kick. He's getting angry. I really think that Sakuraba got prepared for this fight. I, th I think he got prepared as far as the game plan, his strategy was right, his conditioning. Obviously, he's thrown so many kicks. He had to practice his kicks quite a bit in the gym because he's thrown so many kicks, and they landed hard. Look at this. Oh, left hook to the leg, boss. Right hook oh, to the leg. Nice. Whoa. He's hitting him right on that spot where he's been kicking him. And this is getting a little embarrassing for Vitor at this point. Okay, the referee making Vitor get back up. Well, he doesn't do anything. It's, yeah, because it, it, it's so strange because he's backing up from a guy who's not really a striker, and Sakuraba is out striking him. But it's because of the kicks. Oh, good right hook by Kazushi Sakuraba. Wow. What is going on in this fight? Oh, this is really a surprise. After the way Sakuraba had a tough time against Alan Goes, he's come back and figured, what is he gonna do? What's what Coming in, trying to really, really take Vitor Belfort out of this fight. He's risking everything. It's it's great. Look at him. Look at this guy. I just thought that I've seen it all. And he just does a now Bruce Lee on him. He jumps up. And, oh, oh, he lands it again. Another grazing right stomp kick straight down, sliding off the side of, of Vitor's head. And that's the end of the fight. What an exciting display of unpredictable virtuosity in a kicking sense and a strategy sense by Kazushi Sakuraba. Definitely getting the victory in that one. Oh, yeah, there, there's, there's no doubt. If there were, and Hickson is probably in full agreement, if there was any doubt raised by Sakuraba's close call with Alan Goes in the Pride Fighting Championships number four, he has erased those doubts, matching up against another Carlson Gracie team member. And Kazushi Sakuraba getting the unanimous decision victory over Vitor Belfort, and he took Vitor Belfort right out of his game early in that fight, boss. Yeah, Vitor gave it everything he had in the beginning, and, and, and then something happened, what we don't know, but um, the, uh, Sakuraba was all over him. And it, it's not like he looks tired, it's, it, it, something happened. Well, Vitor stopped punching um, early on in the fight. Do you think it's possible that he might have hurt one of his hands? That, yeah, that could be it. Something like that could be it, but he also could walk. The reason that he was fell down all the time, I, yeah, we don't know. We, we just have to wait. We have to ask him uh, tonight. And that's the second loss for the man from Brazil in Vitor Belfort. And Kazushi Sakuraba and his wild, wild style marches on.
Okay, nice. And here we go with his spinning back kick. And this is shades of Benny the Jet Urquidez. And that dug in, you could see the reverberation all the way into his back. 